Is the hype surrounding Brock Purdy too high? What is he doing? What did he say? Yeah, Joe. <laughs> he said he's not at all compared uh, to Joe Montana. What he mentioned Joe Montana, but he has a lot of the traits. Yeah. <laughs> Now we have Rex Ryan, mm -hmm. a great Rex Ryan. Line. We're going to quote. On, hold, Rex Ryan was a very good coach With and a great defensive tips. coach. Okay. Uh, I'm just saying, we got Rex Ryan, <laughs> and now we have a DC Shots defensive fired. coordinator for one of the final four teams in the NFL, also played quarterback in the league, mm -hmm. saying Joe Montana. Yeah, the same thing they said about Jimmy comparing Garoppolo. Comparing Brock. And I, no, I didn't. Really? Winner. Jimmy Garoppolo was compared Wait, to Joe Montana? 100. Go ahead. Sorry, I I'll let you that. finish. All right, here's what I will say. I'm not going to compare him to Joe Montana. But what I'm going to say is this. Joe Montana <laughs> did not become Joe Montana until he was Joe Montana. You can follow me. You know what I'm I saying. I know what you're saying, but I You disagree. don't become the legend until you become he was the legend. pretty legendary Some people at Notre do. Dame. Really? Yeah, he, really. You know what he, no, really? he was a third-round draft pick. Yes. He had 25 touchdowns and 25 interceptions at Notre Dame. Wow. And he, and he, he wasn't, okay, or he was never like All-American or anything like that. Impressive. He was he was a name, but he wasn't viewed <laughs> he as all that. He doesn't he have didn't one hold of on. the most iconic college football moments at oh, Notre moments, Dame. Oh, moments, but I'm yeah. talking about careers. Okay. A lot of people got moments. I want to yeah. have a career. Okay. And at his career at Notre Dame wasn't all that. Because when he stepped in the league and y'all didn't see him because – you're younger than me. That's not. I'm not even yeah. trying to insult. I saw the guy that beat that he sat behind for his first year and a half, Steve DeBerg. Yeah. He wasn't all that. All right, but Montana came in, didn't was two and six in his first eight starts. In fact, in the catch game, yeah, yeah, he was terrible. before the catch by Dwight Clark that led them to the Super Bowl against the Cowboys. He threw three interceptions and fumbled once. He didn't lose the fumble, but he had a fumble. No, you're not comparing. No, my, my point a lot is of this. Talk right my, now. No one thought Joe Montana was going to be a legend. No one thought Tom Brady was going to be a legend. Some guys come in with greatness, Trevor Lawrence, you know, and some of them live up to it. But others, okay. it just happens. So, and I'm, I'm just saying this guy is in the midst of, of at this ass. point, at this point, his career so, has been special. So, at this point. Okay, so this is. His, on his second year, Nick? Hold on, second year, he's in the MVP. We forget how young he no, is. No, we don't. People talk about him like he's a nine-year veteran. No, we don't. Really? This, yeah, really. Uh, this is my frustration. He's younger than Jordan The Love. Purdy folks want it I both ways. This is, this is, I think, my and Greg's frustration. <laughs> the Purdy folks want to be able to mm. say he reminds us of Joe Montana. Yeah. The beat writer for the Niners say Breeze's accuracy with Lamar's athleticism. Do blind well, comps. Really? really? Yeah, we showed you the tweet <laughs> on their show. Lamar's athleticism? Because, because of his 10-yard split time. But set it aside. We showed, the, we, we showed it on the show. We, we do blind reveals of Purdy versus Tom Brady. Say he's in the MVP discussion. They want to be able to say all those things and then also be able to say, oh, but I'm not saying he's elite. Exactly. I'm not saying he's great. I'm not comparing him. I'm not doing any of those things. They want all of the, the – oh, we're giving him all the credit mm. with none of the receipts attached of do you think the guy is good. That's not and a receipt. So, well, everybody thinks the, he's good. No. I, I, I think I – think, so Greg did something I thought courageous today because Greg made a list. Yes, I did. And can we show Greg's list? Because I think Greg gave Purdy more of a benefit of the doubt than I would have. You wouldn't even have him 16th? Well, Greg has him ahead of the following guys who I think are worth a discussion. Derek Carr, Tua, no Russ, and Baker. Tua. Not I think Derek. they're all – okay, but, but Greg, you, you gave him argument. every tie. Every tie went to him. And the problem is for me is the biggest Purdy defenders who make us talk about Joe Montana and league MVP, if put to the test, might pick two guys on that list they think he's actually better than might pick two. So that's but why my is what is that like people aren't sitting most people when they talk about Brock Purdy aren't making a list of who he's better than. They're just saying, look, this dude is dealing, look at his numbers, look at his wins. That's what they're saying. And again, Nick, he's going to get better. Like he's only in his second year, he's 24 years old. He's got less experience than Jordan Love. Hasn't even started two full seasons, but we talk about him like I said, like he's a 9-year vet.
Curry. This dude is doing something nice. And, and this is why the hype surrounding Brock Purdy ends up being a little too high because – all that you're doing right now, mm -hmm. you're celebrating all of who he is, but still unwilling to truly go out on a limb and say, but he's one of the best. It, and when we put him in the MVP conversation, the reason why he's in the MVP conversation is because he's on a really good team and he's the quarterback of that team and he's producing numbers. If we were to sit here and say, is Brock Purdy the most valuable player on that team? You cannot, with your heart in your heart of hearts, but that's say, not what the uh, award is. It's a quarterback award. We know that. Okay. Well, but his running back is nominated for it alongside him. This is, but this is why I have an issue with the hype because, I, and I keep saying this, it's like you, we don't know you. This was you. What? When Jimmy Garoppolo yes. was no, the quarterback. Was, no, I never, Nick, you know this. I never said Jimmy Garoppolo should even have made a Pro Bowl. But that's, but I never, ever even me, said it. Bro, bro, Brock Purdy, bro, I said, should be MVP. Bro, How's that the no, same you, thing? You, it, is, it is on steroids. But well, it was, yeah, it was course, the same, it's a big it was difference. The same type of, in my opinion, rhetorical tricks of, I'm not saying he's Joe Montana, yeah. but here's my favorite graphic in the world that became a running gag on the show, Dusty the Graphic, where he's alongside Joe Montana. And instead that's of... That's just called a fact. Right, exactly. I mean, that's, that's so, called a fact. Right, and so, there, so here is the question I have. What is the argument that exists right now that Brock Purdy is clearly better than Tua? What is it? I think his eye test Okay, bad, I, knew, I do but too. But statistically, so I don't know what So why is that allowed? Do. Why is it allowed to say, I test tells me he's better than Tua, well, but I can't no, say I, I test more. tells me he's worse than Jordan Love? There's, Why hold on, it? Nick. There's more. He's got three playoff wins and three starts and finishes. How many's right. Tua got? Oh, so, so you oh, hold okay. on, but so that's where that's, that's where worse. the team stuff does matter. There, does, you know what? There's another. Does one. anyone uh, think, ball, uh, So do you think you think that if Brock Purdy was a starting quarterback for the Dolphins this year, they would have been better? Worse I don't. The same? I don't. I don't traffic in hypotheticals like this. But then the, I'm just going by what the dude is doing on the field. I don't know what Brock Purdy would be elsewhere. I know what he is in San Francisco, correct. and it's pretty good. He's a really good. That's what I'm saying. Right, he under, he's perfect. I'm a big – when it comes to quarterbacks, mm -hmm. look, Jared Goff, those guys, much bigger arm, taller, statuesque, all that. See over the, the line of – you know, the, the offensive yeah. lineman, defensive lineman, all that. But I'm a big intangibles guy when it comes to quarterback because what made Tom Brady, Joe Montana, the best – two of the best ever? Intangibles. And this guy has intangibles. I don't know how great he'll end up being or even if he'll end up being great. But he's got intangibles, and he is off to a sensational and, and start will, to his career. And what I will add to support you right now is because of those intangibles, we can't continue to almost crown him so early because it's going to take time because there is not a measure when it comes to him being a difference maker or on Mahomes or there's the eye test that we, you just alluded to. When you look at Brock Purdy and take away all the pieces around him, you don't look at him and say, I need that guy. I got to have that guy under my, under center so he can lead my team. You don't really say That's that. Fine. But when you add him, you add pieces around him, does he make those pieces better? Probably. Do they make him better? For sure. But he's not like Patrick Mahomes where we know no, for he's sure. Not like or C.J. No. Stroud where we know for sure and certain he's that not. this kid turns around the whole a franchise. And, and even if they win this week? If the if Kyle Shanahan could get Kirk Cousins this offseason for the same salaries he's playing Brock Purdy, he would do it in a heartbeat. Well, I, in a heart. Really? How do you know? I know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.